Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cooper, also known as It's Miss K. Thank you so much for tuning in. So yeah, y'all, no nails today, honestly. Like I haven't been feeling well and it is what it is. I was this close not to film my video and then I'm like, you know what? You need to hold yourself accountable. Do what you say you're gonna do. So today's intro is not gonna be too long. Um, this is going to be part three of my savings challenge series. So today I'm going to be counting my $5 challenge along with my lose change challenge so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into it i went ahead and literally unstuffed the money or the change that i had in here i'm going to go ahead and roll the clips hey everyone so i went to the dollar store to get some of these what is this called coin wrappers um and i'm gonna be using these to kind of organize my loose change right here these come assorted and then i got some single ones um everything was about seven dollars so hopefully i have more than enough so i'm going to go ahead and simply sort them through um this cash right here and then roll them up and take it to the bank because my bank doesn't take like actual loose change i have to roll them up myself so i'm just gonna go ahead and pour it up and simply i guess organize as i go i don't know y'all I'm gonna make a section for 20s, which are the two dollars, a section for my one dollar, so on and so forth. So yeah, I'm not gonna bore you guys with all of this. I'm just gonna do it off camera and I'll be back once it's all rolled up and I'll let you know if it all fits. Alright, so I went ahead and finished up I'm um, separating all of my change right here. So I'm hoping that this is going to be more than enough. So yeah, let me go ahead and roll it up, y'all. All Are you serious? It's multiple in one, y'all. There we go. This is our first one, y'all. Honestly, I didn't know there were like singles. I thought they were stretched out. I'm definitely not gonna need all of this. I'll just return it, yay. <laughs> all right, y'all, excuse my disruptive desk, but this is basically what I have right now. I have a couple full ones and a couple that are not full. Ooh. So I'm just gonna head to the bank and hopefully I get to cash all of this in and knowing me i'm probably going to have to round it up to the closest five dollar bill because i'm not coming back with change at home so yeah i'll be back <laughs> so as you had seen i went ahead and rolled up all the change i had so many of these left y'all i'm gonna have to either keep them or return them but i have so much i bought way too much i didn't think i was gonna be able to um have that much left but yeah so anyways i just came back from the bank and this is how much they gave me this is for my loose change challenge when it comes to my loose change challenge i wasn't really keeping track of it so it is what it is but i'm going to be writing it down right here loose change challenge and i thought that i would be able to save about like 70 dollars that was like my initial budget but yeah, so let's go ahead and count and see how much we have. So, by the way, um, it cost me about what a dollar to go ahead and roll it up and take it to the bank. Because I know if you go to the like coin sorter, they take ten percent. So if you have a dollar store next to you, um, go ahead and look for these coin wrappers, and you'll be able to save so much money. To be honest, like I didn't even use the whole pack. I have so much laying around. All right, so we're going to do the ten dollar first. We have one two three four four ten dollar bills i hope everyone's doing good and is having a lovely day i'm not gonna lie i just feel like crap y'all it's just been awful anyways okay but anyways i'm not here to spread my negativity i feel like i can barely get through this video so let's just go ahead and finalize this so we have one two three four five six so six twenty dollar bills let's go ahead and do the total so four ten dollar bills that's a total of forty dollars six um twenty dollar bills that's a total of 120 so our total for our loose coin challenge is a total of 160 dollars that's crazy y'all right i know 
I know. So it's like what? I saved a little bit over what? $90? And when I went to the bank, so it was an extra what? $90? When I went to the bank, the total was $160.25. Like she gave me the 25 cents, but whatever. I'm going to put it back in here. I'm going to be putting it back into my jar and I'll just start fresh. But yeah, so $160. Just in loose change. I'm very happy, super grateful, and proud of myself. It's crazy because this challenge was not budgeted. So whenever I would have loose change, I'll simply go ahead and put it into my jar and that's pretty much it. So we're all done with the loose change challenge. Uh, let me put it onto our tracker right here. So loose change challenge. Just write it down. Initially the balance was zero because we had nothing at the beginning of the year. And now our ending balance is $160, all right? So that's a difference of 100 plus $160, all right? Okay, boom. So we're done our loose change challenge on stuffing. Let's move on to our $5 challenge. You guys know that this is one of my favorites because again, this is not a budgeted challenge. It's simply whenever I get $5 bills in change, I would save it up. All right, so hopefully these are organized or somewhat organized. And when it came to this challenge, I was using my tracker. The tracker I was using was this one right here. Oops, this one right here. So initially I should have $500, okay? So let's go ahead and count it up. I should have $500. So let me go back and put it onto our budgeted amount. A brand new page. I'm gonna write $5 challenge. I'm going to write $5 challenge. And our budgeted amount was $500 because that's how much I was planning on saving just in $5 bills, all right? So let's count how much we have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 13, 18, 19, 20, 20 dollars. So that's 25 dollar bills. Why is it almost always upside down? All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 35 dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's forty-five dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's fifty-five dollar bills. So I'm gonna put the fifty aside right here, okay, and do another set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on, let me do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 20. 1, ooh, that's a 35. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 30. So that's 30 right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 50. Okay, so that's 50 right here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so in total we have 108 $5 bills. So that's pretty easy to count it up. So 108. Let me pull up my calculator. After I just said it's pretty easy to count it up. Anyways, y'all, um, I don't know where my calculator is, but essentially 108 $5 bills, that's a total of $540, $540, okay? So that's how much it is. The total for my $5 bill challenge is $540, and then that means from our budgeted amount, I was able to save an extra $40. There you go. So I'm going to put this onto our sync tracker sheet and initial balance is always zero. Um, ending balance was $540. That means we were able to save $540 just in $5 bills. 
and so when i counted up the total for this too is 700 dollars y'all an extra 700 dollars with two challenges in which i did not have to budget for simply putting the loose change and the five dollar bills to the side whenever i would get them so that's pretty good in my opinion um so that's pretty much it y'all this video was going to be quick anyways because it was pretty much straightforward so yeah thank you so much for all the love and all the support and when it comes to the giveaway make sure you check out the community post tomorrow um taylor has been busy with moving so we're going to be able to post the winners tomorrow on our community post i hope everyone's doing amazing i hope you have a lovely week ahead and i will catch you in my next video if you did make it all the way to the end of this video go ahead and leave me like a smiley and a heart emoji because your girl needs it right now so that being said i'll catch you in my next video and until then i hope you stay blessed all right bye everybody peace and love bye